Welcome back. Uh, you are watching KTN News. This many thanks for staying with us. Nyamira County Senator Kennedy Mongare, who has expressed intention to vie for the presidential seat come August the 8th this year, has now received the blessings of courier elders. Mongare was crowned an elder this, thus giving him the green light to vie for the top seat. The event took place at a colorful ceremony held at Nguruma Primary School in Migori County. He faulted the Jubilee government for allegedly failing to deliver on its pledges. Mimi niko na report ya kila governor wa Kenya mzima. Vile wamefucha fedha hata account assemblies wale ma MC mlichawa pale vile wamemisuse pesa. Mimi nitatembea nikielezea wananchi wote nitakuwa na kila MC nitakuwa na file yake. Kila governor nitakuwa na file yake. Kila mbunge Kenya mzima nitakuwa na file yake nielezea wananchi wa Kenya kwamba hao viongozi mlichawa pale wameenda kufanya kazi ya binafsi. Na umeona katika seneti saisi tumesema magavana kumi waase kujunguzwa na ESCC CID kwa ufichaji wa pesa. Na wiki chayo tena report zingine zitawekwa katika seneti. Tupe ile ESCC ishike wengine, wachukue wengine kotini ndiposa warudishe pesa wa Kenya. Mimi tu katika wale ambao wanagonia kiti ya urais ndio niko na plan ya ku recover all the looted wealth, all the theft and privilege. I'm the only person with a way forward. No but that's a plan. Uhuru Kenyatta has no plan. You saw he said clearly, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. That's why I'm telling him he rather leaves earlier than if I he fails to beat me. My only competitor is Uhuru Kenyatta. Akona msichana ambaye nataka pale state house, ameshindwa kuna msichana wa Kenya, mimi nitamngatua mamrakani. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is the Mungare agenda there. That is a senator for, uh, who has declared interest in the presidential seat come August 8th. But still on politics, let's now go to the Rift Valley. It is all fireworks. I remember Deputy President William Bruto and um, Baringo County Senator Gideon Moy uh, currently seen to be in a certain rift that has brought a rift right um, in between uh, the Rift Valley and to just keep us up to speed with this, to help us analyze what exactly is happening in Rift Valley. He was in Narok yesterday. That is Chris Tyro, a senior political reporter, now joining us live from our city center studios. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Chris. Uh, you had a long day yesterday at Narok as uh, you were covering defections of some of the Maasai leaders. And um, they have defected from Jubilee to the Chama Cha Mashinani. Is this a new outfit that uh, is going to give people sleepless nights in the Rift Valley? Well, like it's a very interesting scenario is happening a few months to the general elections, especially in the Rift Valley region. Remember that uh, the votes there, oh, it's all uh, for each and every presidential aspirant to go and look for votes in the rich uh, vote uh, Rift Valley region. Uh, but uh, yesterday's events were very interesting because uh, at the South Rift, uh, that's uh, in Narok and Bomet County, uh, what we witnessed is that uh, Chama Chamashinani is really gaining uh, momentum and uh, traction. Remember that uh, it has already uh, one member of county assembly, that is Nyangores Ward in Bomet County. And uh, what we witnessed is that uh, uh, Isaac Ruto, who is the Bomet governor, is really, uh, up, uh, uh, is really determined to ensure that uh, he popularizes this Chama Chama Shinani party and to ensure that uh, uh, he's uh, uh, trying uh, to uh, defeat or maybe trying uh, to uh, have more, uh, more, more support uh, in the Rift Valley uh, compared uh, to the deputy president. Uh, but uh, of interesting uh, events is that uh, yesterday uh, Chama Chama Shinani, uh, although they did not uh, indicate uh, if at all they will be supporting the re-election of President Uru Kenyatta, all they will be supporting the opposition NASA. Uh, what we saw is that uh, Kanu officials, uh, led by Gideon Moy, who is the Baringo Senator and Kanu Chairman, were present to receive uh, Patrick Ntutu. Uh, but uh, what we know is that uh, Kanu has already made their decision known uh, regarding the presidential ticket, and uh, they've uh, decided 
decided that uh, they will be supporting the re-election of President Uru Kenyatta. Now, the problem is that uh, uh, they, they seem, uh, Chama Chamashinani and Kanu seem to be having uh, those uh, bitter relationship between uh, uh, the officials there, or the leaders in those parties, and the deputy president. The question that maybe, maybe, maybe many will be asking is, will these affect uh, the, the votes uh, in terms of the presidential votes? Because uh, if you fight uh, the deputy president and yet you are supporting the president, this is one ticket when you go at uh, the ballot. Uh, remember that uh, the ballot will just have uh, at least the presidential uh, name. Uh, of course, if you are voting uh, for the presidency, you're of course voting uh, for the deputy. And this leaves a very interesting scenario because this is the reason why even uh, the opposition, NASA, has decided to invade the Rift Valley because it leaves uh, many still asking, are they really determined to ensure they support the re-election of President Uru Kenyatta? Or are they just playing uh, and uh, maybe finally uh, the opposition, if at all they decide on who will uh, be their presidential flag bearer, might get more votes uh, compared uh, to the 2013 general elections. So very interesting scenarios in the Rift Valley ahead of the general elections, Akisa. Chris. Quite an analysis there. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes. Chris Thairo there, senior political reporter, uh, joining us live from our city centre studios. Let's now get into sports.